To help us figure out what we can expect from this sham and absurd trial, we're joined by Congressman Matt Gaetz of Florida, who was neither absurd nor a sham. Great to see you tonight, Congressman. <laughs> What, what do we know about this? Since you're right in the middle of it, what can we expect? We learned from Mitch McConnell's resolution that he really intends to ripen a motion to dismiss as fast as possible. You know, the Senate potentially taking a vote on such a motion at the end of this week or beginning of next week is like lightning speed for the United States Senate. Let's remember, yeah. this is the same body that prides itself on institutional lethargy. I think they took hundreds of days to confirm the ambassador to Morocco. So the fact that in a matter of days or weeks, we could ripen a motion to dismiss, I think, is indicative of progress. You're going to see 12 hour days uh, we expect that will go six days a week and so the session will be in high octane for the United States Senate and it's my hope that we'll push through that and, and have that motion to dismiss and get through this national nightmare as fast as possible. Are we going to see Hunter Biden or any of the other Biden relatives who may or may not have gotten rich from their connections to the former my, vice president? My, cons my concern is that if we have a witness exchange program, there is no way we're going to get the witnesses we really want, but the Democrats will get the witnesses they really want. That's really what's actually happening here. You have the establishment in the Republican and Democrat Party working against the populist wings of both. Well, you have establishment that, Republicans that like question. Mitt Romney working against yeah. Donald Trump, and then I think you have establishment Democrats working Working against Bernie Sanders. They're trying to give Joe Biden the field in Iowa, keep Bernie locked up in the United States Senate during this impeachment trial. And so uh, that's just how Washington works, trying to keep the populists that, at bay on, on every side of the political spectrum. That is fascinating. You really think that, that Democrats in the Senate, I just want you to restate this to make sure I got it right, are trying to prevent Bernie Sanders from leaving Washington, trying to keep him here in the cage so he won't do well in Iowa? Look, Bernie's got momentum in Iowa, and it's not ridiculous to say that the Democratic Party in its organized way would try to deprive Bernie Sanders the nomination. They literally just did this years ago when he was running against Hillary right. Clinton. And now uh, I think that really this is this is an effort of the establishment of both parties to keep this charade of impeachment going on as long as possible, because it is empowering to the establishment to sort of have all this focus on the Senate rather than have Bernie campaigning in Iowa and the president running on a phenomenal economic record, a better trade uh, uh, posture with China, a better trade posture in North America, all the things that he promised to deliver on for the American people. Huh. I wonder, do they see it, though? They're short-term gains, and you just explain what they are. But long-term, I mean, they're, they're kind of allowing their own institution to rot, aren't they? I mean, if impeachment becomes a precedent that you invoke when someone annoys you, that doesn't empower any of our institutions, does it? Well, it's it's very illuminating to look at what the articles actual actually say. When you talk about abuse of power, obstruction of Congress, these are purposefully amorphous terms That's so right. that you can see the very same politics played out through the new tool of impeachment. Unfortunately, that is the new normal that the radical left has brought us to. But it's not about any constitutional crisis. It's about their thirst and bloodlust for power. It always is. Ill temperament, bad table manners. Look for, look for those charges in future administrations. Congressman, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.